This is the News at 5 on the ABC 10 Information Network. I'm Chris Thomas. Pet owners, listen up. Starting tomorrow, it will cost you if you do not license your cat or dog. The city of Sacramento is cracking down on pet owners who don't do it. ABC 10's Giacomo Luca is live tonight with answers about Animal Control's new approach. Giacomo, what's the latest? Well, Chris, it's been a rule for years that pet owners in the city of Sacramento have to have licenses for their pets. But for the longest time, those pet owners, there hasn't been a whole lot of them, which is why Animal Control is now taking a more strict approach. Nearly twice as many pet owners as this time last year have flocked to the Front Street Shelter to get their pets licensed. Ahead of a stricter approach set to take effect July 1st, that could mean fines starting at $300 for those who don't comply. It's that there are about 250,000 cats and dogs living in our homes in the city of Sacramento, but yet only 13% of those pet owners are actually licensing their pets. We spoke with the director of the Front Street Shelter about why they're moving towards a stricter approach. Yeah, public health, public safety. Um, people say my dog never leaves my yard, he's not at risk, but the raccoons come in at night and drink out of his water bowl, yes he is. The shelter's goal in enforcing licenses is to help return pets to their rightful owners and to prevent the spread of disease. To aid in that mission, Front Street's also including vaccinations, microchipping, and ID tags for those who license their pets this month. But I feel like you, you've got to have your pet licensed. Um. We met Renee Rivera at Sutter's Landing Dog Park, who says she's licensed her dog since she got him more than nine years ago. On impulse, I think it's fair enough. I mean, $20 isn't allowed, and if you're deciding to take on the responsibility of a dog, then you've, you've got to incur the costs that go with it. Now back out here live, the director of the Front Street Shelter also said that there's other communities in the state of California that have reached about 30% of the people, pet owners living in their area that have got licenses for their pets. She said that she'd like to see Sacramento a little bit higher than that. And then also, even if you haven't been able to get your pets licensed and you do receive a fee, uh, in the meantime, the city's offering a waiver of those penalties if you come in within 30 days to get those licenses. From the Front Street Shelter, I'm Giacomo Luke, ABC 10 News.